All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another video. So today I'm gonna be doing a recap of my two week vacation slash one week of relationship trip for the uh, Tony Robbins Platinum Partner event that we had um, the first week of the trip with, with Ivy. It was an absolutely incredible trip. I recorded a bunch of clips. I just figured I'd kind of share how the whole journey went because I got to meet Tony Robbins and take a photo with him, which is like a long-term goal of mine that I've had for a long time. So it was, it was very it was very exciting. So as I kind of go through it, I'll put photos and videos on the screen of how this incredible journey went. So first off, that was my first time in Hawaii. We ended up going on uh, the island Maui where, and I'm, I don't wanna, I'm probably gonna butcher a bunch of names uh, from, from the island, how they say it, so I apologize about that. I believe it's Lahaina, Lahaina. Uh, basically, that kind of had this massive fire a few months ago, and it was probably like 40 minutes from our, our hotel, so we weren't too sure if it was going to be open, but basically, we went on the island of Maui. We got to stay at the Grand Wailea for a full week of basically, it was a, a full week to focus on love, passion, and relationship. So Tony Robbins was there with his wife, Sage, and there was probably like two, 300 uh, platinum private partners um, from the Tony Robbins group that were there with their partners looking to level up their relationship. I've honestly never spent seven days on relationship or learning about relationships. So it was an incredible masterclass and it was definitely a full immersion into it. Overall, it was, we had an amazing time on our flight. It was absolutely beautiful. And I believe um, the structure was on day one, they would we would have an activity and then they would be Tony kind of like teaching for the rest of the day. And if you guys have ever been to a Tony Robbins event, it can go for a very long time. It can go until midnight or two in the morning, right? Depending whenever Tony wants to end, they call it Tony time. That's until that time that you go, basically. You just stay in the room and you listen and you take it in. So first day was incredible. They uh, separated the men and the women into different groups to do different activities. Obviously the women could jump into the men's, the men could jump into the women's activities if they wanted to. But men, they basically taught us how to kill and defend, right? If ever you're in the street and some people come up and attack you when you're with, while you're with your partner, they taught you how to be able to defend yourself. So it's more of like a masculine energy type of activity, which is incredible. And on the women's side, they, they learned um, how to dance and embrace their femininity and their body. And Ivy had a blast doing that as well. So it's a lot of exotic dancing which i got to benefit from so it was really it was a really good time i don't have videos of that <laughs> but it, it, it was a really good time on that trip so we got to do these activities every single morning so it was a continuation of the training and then on day two i was writing my notes and i was like i've been wanting to meet tony for you know what 15 years now since i read awaken the giant within and it just completely changed my life and i wrote down my answers to the exercise that we were doing and I told Ivy, I was like, I really need to pee, but like, I'm gonna raise my hand, take a shot for me to share because I never raised my hand. And I was like, if he doesn't pick me, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. And so I raised my hand and then he looked straight at me and he said, you, I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I got picked. And so as they're bringing me the mic, I'm so nervous. I'm just like a giddy little girl. I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to speak directly to Tony Robbins. That's crazy. Um, so I got to kind of chat with him and do an intervention, which was really powerful, which Ivy and I will share on our podcast that will be coming out the Wednesday after this video is live. So it's gonna be recorded on Saturday, the week after we came back from Hawaii, and then on Wednesday on the podcast, um, that's when the episode will come live, which you guys will be able to have access to on YouTube as well versus just Apple Podcasts or Spotify. But we're gonna talk about that intervention on there. It was amazing for our relationship. We got to kind of deepen our love and get a greater understanding of each other. But ultimately at the end, I was like, man, Tony, you've been changing my life 15 years ago when I was going through this cancer journey. Like you're your work is the thing that kind of helped me get through it. Can I have a photo? And he said, absolutely. So he got Ivy and I, and we got a beautiful photo together. You probably see a few photos on the screen here. I'm waiting for the professional photos so I can put them on my wall, on my background for, for the podcast, for my work. So anyways, just incredible time. Um, and one thing that Ivy and I made sure that we did throughout all this trip is that we ate healthy food and we worked out. We wanted to stay on track with our fitness and our health goal. And so we're able to train at the gym there. We're able to kind of make some healthy decisions when it came to the food that was available. And on one of the days we got to go on a helicopter ride. So I had been on a helicopter ride before. Uh, many, many years ago, I cycled from Vancouver, Canada to San Francisco to raise money for cancer patients. Uh, it took me 20 days, 20, 21 days, I believe. And as I was cycling one day, I saw an advertising on the side of the road for a 15 minute helicopter ride. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just live life to the fullest. I've never gone a helicopter ride. So I pulled over with my bike and my panniers and my tent and everything. 
paid, got in a helicopter ride. It was 15 minutes around. I can't remember where I was. Maybe I was in Oregon or something like that. Maybe it was in Northern California. I can't remember, but it was beautiful, right? 15 minute helicopter ride, it was awesome. So this was my second helicopter ride, but this was just a completely different scenery because we went like over the island, we flew to a different island, you got to see the mountains, the oceans, the shore. It was just absolutely stunning. As you can see by some of the footage that's popping up on the screen, it was absolutely amazing. And again, we got to do some daily workshops with Tony and his wife. They brought in speakers. They brought in um, sex therapists, relationship therapists. They brought in different types of people, which we got to learn a lot of great new tools and strategies for our relationship and for the bedroom, which has been incredible. Definitely have uh, enjoyed practicing these things <laughs> with Ivy, but overall got to learn different types of archetypes for men and for women and how they come together in a relationship depending on the archetype depending on the past we got to explore the men's journey kind of what men are going to go through in their lifetime that was extremely powerful for me being earlier on in those stages and seeing what's ahead and got to hear different men that were in their 40s 50s 60s 70s kind of talk about these different chapters i got a greater understanding of what was coming and what it would look like and same thing for the women we got to under, i got to understand kind of ivy's journey kind of where she was at what she was about to go through what that would look like when she went through it through other women sharing that were ahead um, in the journey ultimately so it gave me a greater understanding of where she was at and why she was doing certain things that she was doing and where she was heading and it gave ivy a great understanding of where i was at and what i was about to go through right and why i have some of the challenges that i have she, we basically got a better understanding of each other, which made it really cool for ourselves to know what to expect for the future, but to be able to understand each other and support each other on our journey, I think was something that was really beautiful. Um, so the other part is I got to meet, uh, meet someone that I didn't think was going to be there. I got to meet Mike Posner. Um, I hope I said his last name properly. He wrote the song. Basically, I took a pill in Ibiza to show Avicii I was cool. Mike was there. He's also a platinum partner, which uh, was super cool guy uh, and lives like not too far from my house. So hopefully we'll be able to get a, a workout in, but honestly, very genuine, awesome man. And he's vegan as well, which is really cool. Uh, and then after that, after the, the week kind of ended, Ivy and I got to stay in Hawaii an additional week. I told myself, I, I take, a, I take a vacations every single quarter. That's a big goal of mine for this year was to take at minimum one week of vacation every quarter. And so far I've been able to kind of respect that. We went to Hawaii, we went to Mexico for almost two weeks um, for the first quarter. And then I believe we went to Florida for the, no, actually we drove from Canada to Los Angeles as a road trip vacation for the second quarter. Then I believe he went to Florida for the third for the third quarter. Uh, no, not to Florida. That was a different trip. Yeah, this third quarter basically is Hawaii, and then the next quarter for the end of the fourth quarter. I'm not too sure what we're gonna do, but Ivy and I are gonna be married at this point, um, and I'm gonna be pending for an American visa, so I won't be able to leave the states. So we'll probably do some type of vacation. Um, in the United States for the fourth quarter. But very happy that I did that because it allowed me to enjoy my life a little bit more this year. So ultimately decided to stay in Hawaii for an extra week. We ate some good food. There was awesome uh, vegan restaurants that were there. We got to work out, do some really cool CrossFit gym. I love gyms where you just open the garage doors and you have the breeze from the ocean. Um, and it's just, it's my favorite. And you work out shirtless, no shoes. It's my absolute favorite. I rented a Jeep because I felt like that was the thing to do when you're in Hawaii, you rent a Jeep. You got to do a little bit of off-roading, which was really cool. Uh, we went to hike a volcano. All right, guys, we are in the Jeep. We got beautiful ivy right here. Took the, the rooftop off. About to get some drinks. And then we're off to the volcano to go for a hike. All right, we almost made it at the top of the volcano. We got the Jeep here. We got ivy right here. All right, guys, look at the view that we have. We're above the clouds. That's crazy. That's the first time in my life that I'm above the clouds. And I've hiked a ton of mountains in the Rockies and I never was uh, this high. That's crazy. Fuck. We're in heaven. Yeah, we are literally in heaven. I can see God over there. He's just chilling, watching TV. <laughs> I'm probably going to book, butcher the name, but Hylia Kala, I believe is what it's called. It's like 10,500 feet of elevation. We didn't hike the whole thing. We basically drove up and then hiked kind of the rest to the, to the volcano. Absolutely stunning. And you'll see photos on the screen. We got to enjoy the beach, which the sand was so 
fine that the wind would just pick it up as soon as it would be a gust of wind and it would just get all over you. So uh, it, it was a be- it was a beautiful time. Ivy and I got some new tattoos um, as well as you probably saw as I'm kind of shaking my hand. I got a line on my hand. I still have the plastic over it because it's been less than three days. So I have to, I'll be able to remove it tonight. Ultimately, the lines are thinner than that. They're kind of spread out because the ink has spread under the wrapper. But I'll be, I'll post a photo later on once it's all cleaned up um, and, and healed. So I got a new tattoo. Ivy got a new tattoo as well. Uh, and then the other one is we attended, again, I'm probably going to butcher the name, a Lu Hao, Lu Hao. Luhao. I don't know. I don't want to butcher it, but basically it was like really cool uh, Hawaiian dancing and uh, the fire thing, which I'll kind of see again on the screen, which was really awesome. And ultimately we made it back home. Uh, it was an incredible trip. It was a, a trip of a lifetime. And I'm very thankful that Ivy and I invested our money and our time to spending seven days focusing on our relationship, especially before we get married. Because one big thing that I've realized in my life is the more that I invest in myself and in the areas that I want to improve, the greater return I get on them. And some of the best investments you can make is with your time and with your money because you value it more and you show that it's actually important to you. Because a lot of people can throw money at something, but if you don't, are not willing to put time, you don't value it that much and vice versa, right? So if you invest some money into it, which was, it was a lot of money. It was multiple, multiple, what is that? Five figures. Yeah, it was multiple five figures <laughs> to go on this trip. So it was, it was pricey, uh, but absolutely worth every single penny because Tony always over delivers on, on the value and yeah, just an in, overall incredible trip. So that's it guys for the recap of this Hawaii trip. We're going to go back to doing kind of a bit more regular vlogs since I am back home in Los Angeles now for the next few months. And so I hope you enjoyed these types of videos. We have some cool, exciting things that are coming out over the course of the next few months. I'm starting a new business that I'm going to launch on launch on November 20th, which is a project that I'm super fucking excited to launch. I've been wanting to do it for over a year now, but I've been kind of one footed and one foot out of doing it. And then that trip just pushed me over the edge of like, it's time. It's time to do it. It's time to go to the next level. So very excited to share all that with you. Hope you have an incredible weekend and I'll see you guys next week for the next video. Ciao.